advantage of a clean sweep, a 3 nothing start to this year's NBA Finals. We'll see if they can pull it off. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Look at New Orleans. What a final series they've had going undefeated. Three wins to nothing. They have a chance tonight to sweep the series and walk away as NBA champions. And Kevin, it feels like the party's already started in this building. The fans anticipating what might happen later tonight, watching their team receive that trophy on the stage. But you know, the players can't think about that stuff. They've got to focus on the task at hand. Steve, you're exactly right. They're smart enough not to get ahead of themselves. But I'm sure they also know that no team has ever recovered from a 3-0 deficit to win a playoff series in the NBA. So they can be forgiven just a bit for thinking about that trophy song. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. A.J. Price is out there with Mike Miller, and it's very Zhao. And at the five down low. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Shot left block. See the pass to Evans. The kick out to Holiday. To the middle. Here's Davis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Davis. You can now be About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Kicks it to James. Not loose. The defense was ready for him that time. And they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Davis with a screen on Miller. Gordon goes in. Used that pick to get in close. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Now here is Miller. Feeds it to LeBron. And Verizhao kicks to Miller. Good on the triple. Miller's got himself on the board with three there. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. For New Orleans, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Holiday dishes to Gordon. There's the screen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Got three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this club. Price against Holiday. Price outside. He kicks it to Miller. Just five on the clock. Miller wakes up. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They are pumped right now after a big win on Sunday. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. New Orleans shooting their first foul shot of the night here. He's off on the second. The Cavaliers trailing. Price kicks to LeBron. Miller outside. Left side Miller. To the left side wing. And it's Verichau penetrating, and he gets the bucket. And you love the concentration. It's hit, it stays with the play. He showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. Now here is Holiday. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. You're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Here is Price. Back to LeBron. There is Zhao. Passes to Miller. Off target from three-point range. The Pelicans have gone three or five shooting the ball so far. They get it back. Z. Good D by Miller. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Price against Gordon. And Gordon over to help. Price kicks to Love. It's rebounded by Z. New Orleans gone 0-2 from deep here. Gordon against James. Gordon the pass to Z. Crops 
Johnson the layup for two. Z's got his first bucket of the night. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Waiters comes in for Mike Miller. Now, here's Price. The pass to Thompson. Soft touch off the glass. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. And Holiday, here we go. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Holiday's got his first points of the game. LeBron dishes to Price. James kicks to Love. Passes to Waiters. Three pointer. No good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. I'll tell you what, if there's success on the boards in this first quarter, is any indication, it's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. Davis with the bucket. Mid range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively, they desperately need a basket. And Love has it in the corner. Back to Price. It's deflected. The drive by LeBron. Sinks that one from the post. Well, he's been working hard to get good looks and it's paying off for him early. Some changes for New Orleans. O'Mara, he's testing for Anthony Davis. Anderson comes in for Tyreek Evans. And it's Austin Rivers in for Gordon. Cleveland also making some changes. Sean Marion has checked in for Love. James Jones comes in for LeBron. And Harris subbed in for Price. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Well, you look at see, no doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. Austin Rivers. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. The Cavaliers trail by three. Thompson sets the pick for Waiters. And it's Rivers with the rebound. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Pass to Holiday. Z, he's covered by Thompson. Here's Z. And yep, and he drops after rolling around the rim. Z's got his second basket of the game. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Guys, I was able to talk with David Black for a minute. I asked him what he could say to his team at this point, and he told me it was easy coming up with a pregame speech, saying everyone expects them to finish us off anyway. The pressure is on them now. It's almost as if our team can just finally relax, and if we do, we'll be able to get back to our game and get back in these finals. An optimistic attitude to be sure, Kevin. And thank you for that, Doris. And here are the Cavaliers now, following the score by New Orleans. Jones against Anderson. And Waiters kicks to Jones. A three-pointer is right on target. Jones has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And he lobs it up for the rim. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Thompson, a screen on Holiday. Waiters passes to Jones. Back to Waiters. Shot clock at six. And Ashik with the clock. And they'll keep possession. Rebound by Z. Z's got rebound number seven for him tonight. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for him. Goes up again. No good at the rim. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? The defense was really impressive there, guys, in that first quarter. They came out focused right from the beginning. And Steve, that's a big part of why they're on top right now. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. 
They've got Dion Waiters. James Jones is out there with Marion. Then it's Thompson, and it's Harris in at the two spot. Now here's Waiters. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Here's Thompson. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Thompson's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Cavs. Holiday against Waiters. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Where was you going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful... Oh. New Orleans... Pelicans leading by four. Holiday with it, and it's Waiters picking him up. They get it back. Davis, and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. How about Anthony Davis in this one? Ten points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense, uh, playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've, um, they've made them all, taking full advantage at the line. Well, it's a nice job of really making the most of their opportunities. And so here's Cleveland. LeBron outside. Now the dish to Thompson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. You know, even though they're behind, I love the job they've been doing getting to the free throw line. Yeah, they've been aggressive, and that's really important. You've got to continue to attack. Omer Ash, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And so it's New Orleans with it. Four-point game. Here's Z. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his third rebound on the night. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Jones checked in for LeBron. Price against Holiday. And Waiters kicks to Jones. He dishes it to Price. Waiters up top from 11 feet away and misses it off the right side of the rim. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He still scores. That one finds the mark on target from Z. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. And the rejection by Evan. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. And he gets it to go. And it's an eight-point Pelican lead. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Pelicans. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And the offensive rebounding has been really impressive so far as well. So I really like this team's effort tonight. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. They set the pick. Holiday dishes to Evans. The pass to Z. A tan short, but it's good off the front iron. Z's got four points now in the quarter. Great job there, recognizing the mismatch and taking advantage. They got to put a bigger guy on him, otherwise he'll bury those jumpers all game. Now here's Price inside, deflects the pass. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You know he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Harris has checked in. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Holiday up top. He's guarded by Waiters. Holiday, the pass to Z. Dishes it to Ash. Plays it up and banks it in. Ashik's got the lead up to 10 now for the Pelicans. The defenders have to be aware. They cannot allow him that position before he catches the ball. You're exactly right, Steve. That is his domain. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. New Orleans on top. They're up by 10. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Of course. Rebounding certainly a big part of the contributions you've made early in this one. Do you think this game is going to come down to which team hustles the most? 
We're nearly there, fellas, but there's still work to do. If you want to be lifting up that trophy later tonight, then listen close. Well, we've established a clear dominance on the interior at the offensive end. And until they prove they can stop our inside game, we have to continue to pound it into the post. Something I did like? Well, a bunch of times we forced a turnover that led directly to a bucket. I wouldn't mind seeing that happen a few more times after the half. And guys, I don't want too many of us under the glass at the defensive end. I want to be sure that we always have at least a couple of guys getting up court ready to receive the outlet. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, he created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making, too. He really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game. And it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. Backcourt, Holiday and Gordon. Evans and Davis are your small and huge forwards. And it's Z at center. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, Z in the last matchup against the Cavaliers had a huge game. He dropped a cool 33 points and was just filling up the stat sheet every way he could, coming away from the contest with a 5-5-5. Five, five, five. It was a performance for the ages and one that will have the whole league talking. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified, Clark. Well, I know this opponent should be terrified because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over into this game. Well, some of it will carry over. That's inevitable. It's just a matter of how much. Offensive rebound. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Z's got 10. Their rebounding has been off the chart today, guys. Reason number one this game is out of hand. Exactly. I mean, the score is right where you'd expect it to be when the battle on the boards is that lopsided. Back to Verizhao. He feeds it to Price. Just five to shoot. Goes up on the wing. Gordon with the defensive effort. No breathing room at all to take that shot. There's the pick. And Holiday kicks to Evans. Passes it to Z. Sixteen feet away, and the shot is good. He's got twelve. That jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Yeah, they've been pulling up and watching them go down. Pass to Miller. In the corner, it's James. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Z's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Gordon, the pass to Z. A beautiful reverse hook. Z's got six points in the corner. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of the last six inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Harry Chow, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one's on Evans. For Cleveland, they have gone 9 of 13 from the line. Anderson, he's checked in for Tyreek Evans. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. There's the pick. Gordon, the pass to Z, up off the screen. He shoots again. Right through the D for the layup. 14 points for Davis. Good job of spotting his teammate near the basket and zipping the pass right in there. And they double him up with LeBron. Stolen by Gordon. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Well, you look at Z, second in the league, having an excellent season. And, of course, LeBron James, just behind him. You know, you never know who will step up in the postseason and who might shut down or wilt under the pressure. But these two guys have put their teams on their backs, and they intend to win no matter what it takes. Price with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. Shot clock at six to stop the drought. 
can't get it to go. Nice D from Z. Ice cold here to start the third quarter. 0 for 5 now, guys. And there's the call on James. Rivers, he's checked in for New Orleans. Austin Rivers. Here's Z. Trains the three-pointer. Z's got nine points here in the second half. Cavaliers have gone all five to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. LeBron kicks to Mary. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. And it's Davis finishing it off. Everything's falling down. This lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. The feed to Marion. Price kicks to LeBron. Pass to Miller. Stolen by Anderson. The dish to Rivers. Feeds it to Davis. A three from Anderson. And James pulls it down. Al Cleveland shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Pelicans. I'll tell you what. They've hit the boards hard in this one. It's led to an abundance of second chance points. I mean, they've gotten a lot of second chance points. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Now here's Rivers. There's the pass to Z. And low to Davis. Drops in the layup for two. Davis has got six in the quarter. Well, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Kicks it to Miller. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. Blocked. And here's Price for three. Here's Verizhal. Holiday to the left wing. Miller with the double team. Holiday, the pass to Z. He kicks it to Rivers. Shot clock at five. Here's Anderson. Oh, that's blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, folks, tonight a great rebounding game we're watching in progress. And now, you know, with that in mind, let's take a look at the all-time record for rebounds in a single game. How about Will Chamberlain with 55 rebounds back on November 24th, 1960? And that's a record that I always thought would stand forever. No one's come close to it for decades. New Orleans gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Out to the right wing. Here's C. Here's Hushik. Good D by Jones. Cleveland's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. They retain possession. And now here's Rivers with fast break opportunity. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The Pelicans have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. No good on that one. Shooting for the Warriors. Omer Hushik. He hits the second from the line. Well, Cleveland shooting just 26% out there. A terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. Harris against Holiday. He dishes it to Rivers. Back to Holiday. Passes it to Z. Let's it fly from 18. Misses off the left iron. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You got to take that. Help the bucket. Thompson's got eight. 141 left to play in the third. Down low. And there's the bucket from Z. They're in the position they're in right now. Thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Dishes it to Jones. He feeds it to Waiters. Back to Jones. Pass to Waiters. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Waiters got his first basket. And here's New Orleans now. They're on a 20-6 run. 
Holiday goes in. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until they prove they can stop him, I mean, they ought to continue to pound it in low. Jones kicks to Harris. Six to shoot. The floater. Kicks it out to Jones. No good. Not a friendly rim at all. This trip down. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. It's stolen by Harris. And here we go with Waiters. Running it up the court. Jones dishes to Waiters. Harris outside. Two on the clock. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Pelicans on top, opening up a huge gap. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. Al Cleveland shooting a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them, to say the least. So on the floor for Cleveland, the two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Marion is out there with Mike Miller, and it's Verizhao in at the five spot. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. Switch here also for Cleveland. Rice has checked in. Steve, they are in complete control. Well, everything they're doing, Kevin, has been working out. I mean, the game plan was solid, and they are executing out there. That's the epitome of teamwork right there, Kevin, on the alley-oop. The Clark, what about the finish? Bring her down with some thunder. Yeah, lightning, but... too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you, the pass was even better. I mean, he put it on an absolute platter for him. LeBron with it. Left side, Price. He's looking for love and finds him. Unloads from 13. Almost, but it rolls out. The Pelicans have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Pass to Z. Let's the three fly. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Evans has got four assists now tonight. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. James, the pass to Price. Miller against Gordon. Miller kicks to Price. LeBron outside. Just five to shoot. It's rebounded by New Orleans. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Price dishes to Miller. Knocked away. Now the feed to LeBron. Here's Love. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Price against Holiday. Feeds it to Evans. Over to the left wing. Here's Z. Shot clock at six. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. The drive by LeBron. Miller, the pass to James. Love, right side. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Evans kicks to Davis. The pass to Z. Back to Gordon. The shot from the low post is good. Well, here we go again. An open path to the hoop, an easy two points. Where is the defense? Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. There's the dish to Verizhao. Kicks it to LeBron. Pass to Miller. He feeds it to Price. Back to Miller. To halt the run. The shot is off. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. 
Holiday. The pass to Z. Left side, Davis. New Orleans moving the ball around. Back to Evans. Z, the pass to Davis. And it's New Orleans scoring again. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. And he was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. And here's Holiday. He kicks to Gordon. Holiday, the pass to Z. He dishes it to Davis. Rebound by Anderson Barajal. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Price. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. It was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. The Pelicans have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anderson Verizon. That's his first foul. That's the way to move the ball. But I really think that was right. That's his first personal foul. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Left side, Jones. And again, it's Cleveland. Some changes for New Orleans. Z's checked in for Withy. Cunningham comes in for Tyreek Evans. And it's Fredette in for Eric Gordon. Fredette dishes to Favarani. And that one's good. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. They've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. That is good. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. Now, here is Fredette. He's guarded by Waiters. Jumper off the screen. Fredette can't hit. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Back to Harris. It's rebounded by Z. The Pelicans have gone 6-13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Dishes to Cunningham. Pass to Rivers. Z, guarded by Marion. Pass to Fredette. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three the Cavaliers shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. And that's going to be the end of an epic journey taken by both teams, really, in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA championship crowns ready for the Pelicans. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. And that produced great fruit for them in transition. You look at the stats, and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Z. You can set a tone with defense, and that is exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. That's good. And the fans loving what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. Stolen. It's two on one. Here's Rivers. Finished off the break. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. Fredette grabs the miss. The Pelicans have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Here's Z, and he lays it straight in. And tack on a few more points to the lead. Why not? I suppose this is an emphatic showing for this club. And Steve, they did it in style. A beat down the entire way. And Waiters kicks to Mary. And yes, sir, that one drops. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Low block shot on the way, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. That's a very good high percentage look right there. It's tipped. Yeah. 
Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Difficult to explain that turnover. I mean, I guess he thought he had more room than he did, but he really lost his place on the court. Waiters off target. And they've done it for new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that come with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually. What a night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. Didn't know you were still here. I don't want to leave. I never want this night to end. I hear you, you know. In all the celebration, we didn't get a chance to really talk. Just wanted to say, I know there's been some ups and downs this season, but you've came a long way. Put in the work, did what was asked, and now look at you, a world freaking champion. That's right, man. Hey, thanks. I just can't believe it. We champs. Yo, we immortals in the NBA forever, bro. That's awesome. Hey, man. Thanks for working out with me. A year ago, it would have never happened. Why you say that? You serious? You're the king of attitude. Hey, your attitude wasn't so great yourself. Maybe. I'm just glad our rookie season is behind us. Yeah, man. There's only so much garbage you can take from the vets, you know? Yeah. But now you got a big decision coming up. Where you're going to play. Where you're going to take the next step. Who knows? Maybe we can team up in the future. Be a dynamic duo, for sure. The future's wide open for both of us. Peace, bro. Nah, nah, what I'm saying is it's only a matter of time before my name is up in the conversation. We talking MVP, player. Yeah. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. I mean, you know what? I gotta holler at you later. I gotta bounce. Peace. Thank you. I told you we have business to discuss. All right, man, let's do it. All right. We got to figure out which teams are going to be lucky enough to be in the bidding for your services. Take a look at this, tell me which teams top your list, and I'll start making calls. Well, good. I'm sure the way you've been playing, everybody wants a piece of you. Now it's up to me to put the best deal together. I'll reach out when I know more. Hey, you make sure you get those fools to open up their checkbook, man. 
All right? I'll take care of the rest. By the way, sharks. Yep. Uh, sorry, but why did you just walk through my door? You didn't even knock. Hey man, you know, I like where your head's at. Me and you on the court together? That's an unreal combination. The league wouldn't stand a chance. I'm gonna call my agent right now. Oh, is that so? That's why you came over here? even me I think the idea of being a part of a team like that sound pretty good to me you know what let's make a deal Yeah? Is that so? What kind? Hmm. People sure like to talk. No way, man. I ain't playing around. Me and you, we done worked way too hard. For real, and came way too far for me to bail on you now. I got you, bro. Whatever. All right. The way you've been lighting it up, my job was easy. Oh, so what you're saying is, I could just field the deals myself, and I don't even need an agent, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm saying no such thing. You can't be bothered with all the minute details. That's my job. Take the pressure off. Deal with all the business people, GMs, shoe companies. Man, would you just spit it out? What kind of deal are we looking at? The life-changing kind. Take a look. Excellent choice. Congratulations. You are now a 100% bona fide NBA star. One of the best players on the planet and about to get paid like one. Hey, shoot. You about to get paid too. <laughs> Amen to that. I'll call and get that contract into your hands as quick as possible. All Make right? sure you get on it because the quicker I sign, the quicker we both get paid. <laughs> call from the car. Congrats again. You've earned everything. Adios. You owe me a shark tank. Don't owe you...
Hey, thanks for coming by. <laughs> no problem, Coach. Listen, I just wanted to let you know how excited I am with you joining our team. I've seen what you can do on the court, and I knew with you signing on with us, we would be capable of some big things. You were one of the key reasons that I decided to come on board. Wow, that means a lot to me. I'm looking forward to working with you and bringing a championship to this city. Well, just keep developing your game. I think we'll have a pretty good shot at it. Now I'll see you down on the court. It's all good, Coach. I appreciate it. Let's start with you, Doc. What led you to take a head coaching position here? Well, it seemed like a great opportunity to come in and move the, the organization forward. I like the look at the roster and the way it, I see it. This team has a chance to be good for a very long time. Doc, you've got one of the more impressive players in the league sitting next to you right there. Uh, did his signing have anything to do with your decision to come on board? Well, I'm certainly excited uh, what we can do together, but he's just one piece of the puzzle. I think the team as a whole has a lot of potential, and I'm really looking forward to starting the season. I'd like to get a player's perspective on my first question to Doc. What led you to sign on here? Oh, I really felt like this was the best place for me to continue and develop my game. Um, I love the fans here. I love the city. I just think it's a great place to play basketball. And how did you feel when you learned Doc would be joining the team? Oh, man, that was just icing on the cake to me. I've been a fan of Coach Rivers for a very long time now, and I know if anybody can come in here and bring a championship to this team, it's Coach Rivers. Uh, I think Coach and I are really going to make a really great team. I'm ready to get started. Right, Coach? Well, I hope so. <laughs> but now it's time to get to work. We've got a long season ahead of us. Hey, thanks, everyone. Peace, guys. Okay, everyone, I know you're all excited to get started, and so am I. I just wanted to say that I'm excited to be here coaching this team. I think we have a great group of guys, and we've got a chance to go a long way. But that does not happen without us putting in the work. And that starts today with our practice. So let's go out there, let's go play hard, and take the first step towards what I expect to be a great season. 